Well, I finished grading your midterms and let me just say, Bravo! Bravo! I have to admit that when I first came to this class, I had no idea what a unique and exceptional group of students you were. You are, without a doubt, the worst class that I have ever had the extremely dubious honor of teaching. Now, I'm probably using the word teaching incorrectly in this context, because you see, teaching implies that there is also some learning going on. What has become abundantly clear from these tests is that what I'm actually doing is some sort of extremely boring one-man play. Leaving aside this lexical detail, it is important that you understand that when I say you're the worst class I've ever taught, I'm using the broadest possible interpretation of the word class and taught. You are, in fact, the stupidest group of organisms that I have ever encountered. And I'm including the weak old moussaka in the back of my fridge in the list of organisms. Now, when I, as a teacher, saw these test scores, I have to admit that I began to doubt myself. Was this test too difficult? Perhaps I have been negligent in imparting the relevant concepts to you. Thankfully, through the beauty of statistical analysis, we can objectively evaluate your test scores. If you had chosen D for every answer, you would have scored 46.2% higher than the class average. If you had, instead, used your multiple choice bubble chart to draw a smiley face, you would have still achieved a full 23 to 36% higher than the class average, depending on how you shaded your drawing. In fact, if the entire class had been killed in a freak boating accident the day before the test, the average would have been 23.6% higher. Considering there were no penalty questions, this is quite an achievement. Luckily, there is one student who overcame the handicap of being in this class, a feat that is apparently akin to skydiving off Mount Everest while performing open heart surgery, and outstripped his compatriots by several orders of magnitude. Sven? This is Sven. He is a Dutch exchange student, and as a newcomer to this country, only speaks three words of English. Those words are Shu and Ian McKellen. We tried to tell him that Ian McKellen is in fact an English actor and not an English word, but his grasp of the language is so poor that we are unable to impart this relatively simple concept across to him. Bow down before Sven, for compared to you, he is an intellectual colossus. If Archimedes, Isaac Newton, and Stephen Hawking, by some miracle of biology and time travel, were able to have a child, that child would be to normal people what Sven is to you. All right, sit down, Sven. Ian McKellen. You know, I'm so disgusted by these test scores that I'm actually feeling physically ill. I thought I could take it. But all this talking about the depth, breadth, width, height, diameter, circumference, and every other dimension of your failure just sickens me to the core. That's what I would be saying if it was opposite day, because you all passed. Gold stars all around. <sighs> well, I hope you're all ready for a pop quiz. Oh, except for you, Sven. Ian McKellen. <laughs>